Minimalism is personal. My less is not the same thing as your less. What you have in your bathroom is not going to be what I have in my bathroom, but I'm going to show you what we do to maintain a minimalist bathroom. For me, the bathroom needs to be a place of serenity. It needs to spark calm and not be something that stresses me out when I walk in. It's a place for me to have a self-care routine for my body, my hair, and my face. Old me would have jumped up these counters with products that I didn't use, but I hung on to. Uh, wouldn't clean it on a daily basis because there was so much stuff on the counter that wiping it off on a daily basis and cleaning it would have been too annoying and too stressful. So we keep this counter clear, nothing except for Q-tips, my husband uses, I don't use those. We keep the plant, the soap, <laughs> the towel, and the sink. And that's what we have here. And we keep these counters clear. I wipe these counters every single day. It's just easier to clean. It was not like that before. I absolutely did not clean the bathroom on a regular basis. I mean, gross and shame on me for not, but it was too much to deal with. I had so much going on in the rest of the house that I didn't take the time to clean. I really like coming into a clean bathroom. It is, a, it is an area for me to de-stress because I take bubble baths. It's an area for me to do some self-care. So to get my hair ready for the day, do some makeup, wash my face, take a shower, whatever it is I need to do to get my day going and productive. That's what this bathroom needs to do for me. And it needs to be quick, accessible, and organized. And so that's what I want out of our bathroom and why it's a minimalist bathroom for us. The, the key to this is owning less stuff. It's owning less bathroom product and things that you need and organizing what you do have. Let's start out in my drawer. I keep everyday small things in here in these little dollar store trays, it, just organized and easily accessible for me. My particular journey on minimalism has urged me to consider the impacts my family is making to the earth. And we've been making small adjustments along the way that are zero waste or low waste, like using all natural products um, and choosing items that are more sustainably focused than my past buying choices. Another thing I traded out was my toothbrush. I no longer buy the plastic toothbrush and plastic packaging. It's another plastic free choice I made in this bathroom. I use a bamboo toothbrush that is biodegradable and the box that it comes in is made from recycled material. So those are two plastic free swaps that I made in the bathroom as a result of my minimalist journey that led me to these eco-friendly decisions. I don't have to remove bottles to scrub the shower. It's all in this mesh hanging basket. Everything Andy and I use for our shower in here is in this mesh basket. So I can get in here, wipe down the walls and the tub and the shower and the shower head and the faucet and be clean in and out. It takes me just a couple minutes to clean this bathroom. I love this little mesh hangy thing. It comes with three hooks. I mean, we put it to the test. We have heavy shampoo bottles and heavy conditioner bottles in this thing, and it's holding up. So the other drawer that we have in this bathroom is Andy's drawer. He also uses these dollar store organizers to keep his toothbrush separate from his razors, and then he just has what he needs on a daily basis. Everything else we need is in the cabinets below. Andy's got me, he's got extra things um, that were just left over from his days at, on deployment that he just had extras on the ship because it took so long to get something to him on the ship that he needed to have an extra stash of supplies. So he's just working his way through that. And then the next cabinet just has our towels and washcloths with this lovely pull-out drawer. And then on the other side of the cabinet is our trash can. We don't keep that out because we have the space in the cabinet so we just leave it in there. And then on the other side are just some extra hair products that don't fit into my drawer and I don't use on a regular, on a daily basis. I use them on a weekly basis. So I just stash them down here. And then we have a medicine cabinet on the one wall that has a mirror on it. And in there on the bottom shelf, I keep my toothbrushes and Andy's daily morning routine stuff. We don't have a lot of things in here. We just have exactly what we use to shower and have self-care in here and as a result it's super easy to clean we keep our towels on a hook on the door so we can reuse them until they need to be washed thanks for watching here's the latest video